Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the ECFWF 30 day slash six weeks look ahead for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. As always on a Tuesday, this is your extended European outlook and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video released today was the 6am upload. Uh, we've got the uh, 10 to 14 there with all of the regular features going to you later on this afternoon and then this evening around 6, 7ish we'll be releasing the 5th instalment of the Christmas Countdown. Please like, share, subscribe on video. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Thank you so much to ECF.INT for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much EC for doing that. And uh, we're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly for Europe. It's going to take us through the current week from the 14th to the 21st of November. So this week looks unsettled with low pressure in the North Atlantic. High pressure is over towards Scandinavia. This area of high pressure is trying to bring colder air in from the east to western Europe. It is actually going to bring some colder air into the far north and north Europe, but most areas actually with this area of low pressure are going to be relatively mild bringing uh, low pressure in from off the Atlantic. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that for uh, this week. High pressure is centering around Scandinavia, low pressure battling against that across much of Western Europe and also into the east of Europe as well. Temperature anomaly looks like this. It's turning colder in the far north and northeast, so Scandinavia beginning to cool down. Also, we've got uh, Poland, and uh, eastern parts of Germany cooling down. The Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania, they're uh, turning colder as well. And into the uh, northwest of Russia, Finland is also becoming colder, also. It's milder out to west, although we've got Ireland looking rather cool, and the UK is actually beginning to turn a little bit cooler as well. But most parts of Western Europe are actually looking mild or very mild, particularly France, Spain, and Portugal. Temperature anomalies at the core in eastern parts of uh, Spain between three and six degrees. Much of the Med looks mild, as does the eastern part of the Mediterranean too. And then we go northwards into the eastern part of Europe. It gets colder through the east of Europe, extending up to that cold into the northeast. Ukraine looking quite cold, and the northern shores of the Black Sea also looking pretty chilly. Precipitation wise, so this week we can see where that high pressure is. It's in the north and the northeast, dry of the normal conditions through Scandinavia, into Poland, into the Baltic Sea states, up into uh, towards Finland, and into the northwest of Russia as well. Meanwhile, out west, it looks very wet uh, across this western side of Europe, from Russia, Spain, Portugal, France. Ireland and the UK into the low countries, into western parts of uh, Germany to significantly above average rainfall there. There is a swathe of drier conditions like through the south of uh, France and into eastern parts of Spain. And it goes wetter again actually through the central bowl of the Med towards Italy and particularly around the Balkans and going down towards some of those northern Greek islands and extending eastwards towards the Black Sea as well. Week two will be the 21st to the 28th of November. Um, very similar conditions, really. The high pressure continues there in the uh, northeast. That will continue to drag in colder air into the uh, far north and northeast Europe. Meanwhile, out west, the low pressure remains in control much of Western Europe and that low pressure digging down into the southern part of Europe as well to some degree. The 500 millibar height anomaly for week two looks like that. So uh, again, we've got the above average heights here in the north and the east of Europe with the below average heights of low pressure in the Atlantic. It really is deep low pressure that we've got in the Atlantic as well. The temperature anomaly shows uh, things are a little bit milder across Scandinavia in this week, although still cold across western parts of Russia and into the far northeast of Europe, around the Baltic Sea states once again. Above average temperatures through much of western uh, Europe, the mild uh, weather continues, and most parts of uh, southern Europe through Mediterranean looking quite mild, into the eastern part of the Med looking quite mild uh, through there. So the cold uh, temperatures are really in the extreme east and northeast of Europe. And precipitation wise, so still very wet across western parts of Europe. The deluge goes on through the UK, through Ireland, through France, through Spain, Portugal, significantly above average rainfall there. Most parts of the central part of the Med looking very wet. Just the far north and northeast of uh, Europe 
are looking uh, drier. So like uh, Germany, Poland, uh, up into the northeast of Europe, pretty dry uh, through there. Northern Scandinavia looking relatively dry, but southern parts of Norway and uh, Sweden uh, looking uh, a little bit wetter through there. Finland also looking relatively dry on uh, the second week. Week 3 will be the 28th of November to the 5th of December. So the low pressure beginning to go southwards along with the jet stream. And high pressure taking over across much of northern Europe would start to get wind into more of an easterly direction perhaps for northern parts of Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that uh, as we go into week 3. So above average heights generally through the high latitudes, but also extending down through central and eastern parts of Europe, but below average heights, low pressure in the Atlantic between the two, probably bringing up like a relatively mild southerly southeasterly across the western side of Europe. The temperature anomaly looks like that. So the coldest temperatures retreating back into the west of Russia and the extreme east of Europe. Actually, most areas are going above average, and looking particularly mild for Scandinavia. There we've got three to six degrees above average. Most parts of Western and also Central Europe, right away from Ireland, Portugal in the West, all the way towards the Black Sea in the East, generally with above average temperatures. And precipitation for week three looking like that. So the wettest weather is moving towards the southwestern part of Europe. So uh, still very wet through Spain, Portugal, probably through parts of France uh, as well. Meanwhile, further north and northeastwards, we've got plenty of dry weather under that area of high pressure across central, northern and eastern parts of Europe. In the Mediterranean, looks quite unsettled in the western part of the Mem. It could be a little bit drier over in the eastern side of the Mem. Week 4 will be the 5th to the 12th of December. High pressure then just knocking around really western parts of the Europe. Um, and also over in the east of Europe as well. Could there be a bit of a trough setting up there? I wonder if there is. Then the jet stream would do something uh, a little bit like that. Would pull colder air into the north of Europe. So I'm looking at 500 millibar height anomaly. So that just shows a large ridge really dominating uh, the weather. Plenty of high pressure domination really across most parts of the Europe. You expect frost and fog with that, I would have thought. Temperature anomalies look like that, not as warm, beginning to go more towards no signal, although the actual cold and average temperature anomalies are in, in Russia, but um, most of seeing an expansion of a white uh, zone, which is like no signal. It is warmer than average across the far north of the Atlantic and into far north of Europe and across southern parts of Europe as well. And the precipitation anomaly for week 4, 5th to 12th of December, generally going drier than average away from southern Europe. So Mediterranean looking fairly wet. Elsewhere, though, largely on the uh, drier side. Right, that's your 30-day uh, forecast done, but let's extend out to weeks 5 and 6 before we go. As the charts are there, might as well have a look, might not we? So uh, week 5 will be the 12th to the 19th of December. This one looks quite interesting for northern and western Europe. High pressure is centering to the south of Greenland. And you will think that will be pulling in colder air from the north and from the northeast across northern and western parts of Europe. A 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So above average heights across northern and western Europe. There is a trough digging in across the northeast of Europe. That would bring uh, a plunge of very cold air into the far north and northeast of Europe, you would have thought. The temperature anomaly just going more towards no signal, really, and the precipitation anomaly looks relatively dry out to our west uh, and weak signals elsewhere. And then finally, week six will be the 19th of December to the 26th. Uh, that's how it looks very, very weak signal. So I'll just put in a question mark as it really isn't clear what's going on uh, in the sixth week. The, the uh, 500 millibar height anomaly, I should say, taking the above average heights away. Uh, into the North Atlantic uh, and over towards the far eastern side of Europe. The temperature anomaly looks like that. Not much of a signal, really. Um, possibly quite cool. And the precipitation anomaly, finally, again, very weak signals. All very mysterious as we're going into Christmas there. Right, that's it for your 30 day uh, look ahead. We'll do it all over. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what Molly's showing. Could look completely different when we look at this again. 
Uh, next week, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big cow warnings of large pinches of salt attached. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, just take it as it is, which is really just for fun. Um, we will have a look at this one again, actually, on Saturday morning with a UK and Ireland focus. And the next European Outlook Extended uh, will be released next Tuesday. We'll be back later on with the 10 to 14 there and also the latest with the Chris Countdown. Uh, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.